so as the last tool for the last video in this mini video series about the tools that expose Linux shells to a web interface we're going to have a look on TTYD package so if you want to learn more stick with me Hello and what's up guys, Medium Guy here and in this video we're going to see how to install and make use of TTYD which is a tool to expose our Linux shell through web interface and access it from a web browser. So, so far we've had many other tools that had the same features plus some unique features for themselves. Also, I'll put the link down below so you can check them out too so without any delay let's get down to work so as you can see i am in the official github repository page for ttyd as it is stated over here with this we can share our terminal over a web interface so here we've got the release section that we can download whichever version that we want to use and over here on the readme section we've got a summary of how to install and make use of this tool so as we can see it is written with c language and if i scroll down on the installation section we can install it with package managers and also we can install it by downloading it from the release sections and directly using its binary files so for installation i'm going to use wget and download the file directly from the repository so if i go to vs code you can see that i've got a readme file on the remote linux access directory on ttyd subdirectory so i'll put all these files and configurations and everything on my github repository where you can find the link down in the description section so basically in this readme file i'll put the relevant links and the commands to install ttyd and some examples to make use of the ttyd cli tool so i'm just going to copy paste this link which will try to download the ttyd version 1.7.3 which is the latest version of the time of recording this video so if i hit ls you can see that the ttyd binary file is downloaded successfully and if i hit chmod plus x and passing the ttyd file i'll hit enter ls again you can see that it is green and it is now an executable file so right now by simply saying dot slash ttyd i'll be able to use this tool but if i want this to be accessible from every directory on my linux machine i'll simply copy this executable file to slash user slash bin directory so for demonstration purposes i'm not going to do that and i'll use the dot slash ttyd so going back to the documentations on the usage section here we have the options that we can pass when running the ttyd command so we can define things like dash p or dash dash port to define the port that the web service will try to listen on by passing dash i or dash dash interface we are able to define the interface that the web service will be binding to also by using dash c we are able to enable the basic authentication for the clients that are trying to access the web interface so there are some other options also but before that i'm just going to give a test and run this with simple options so i'll move to the terminal and copy paste this command over here to terminal so by saying dash o I am defining to accept only one client and exit the command after disconnection of client. So by dash u, I'm defining the user ID for TTYD to use, dash g for defining the group ID, dash b to open the terminal with the default system browser and dash p to define the port dash m to define the maximum clients to be able to connect and by dash c i am defining the username and password of course for real uses try to use complicated username and password for basic authentication and lastly this is the command for the ttyd to run so if i hit enter it will open the browser on 
defined port and as you can see I am seeing the output for the htop command so if I exit this I'll hit leave and come back you can see that the command execution has been exited the reason is that I've passed the dash o when running ttyd so we've got other options like for example by passing dash w or dash dash writable we allow the clients that are connected to be able to type in the shell session and some configurations like dash dash ssl dash dash ssl cert and ssl key and ssl ca to enable the TLS for exposing the web service for having more security. Of course, this is recommended if you want to use this on your infrastructure. So in order to test the writing on TTY, I'm going to copy the second command, which is telling the TTYD to run the bash command. And by passing the dash W, we are enabling the client to be able to write in the shell session so because i have set dash b and slash ttyd you can see that i get 404 on the base url so if i say slash ttyd at the end you can see that i can access the shell session over web interface so basically dash b or dash dash base path is defining the path that the web interface will try to listen on so i'll hit enter i'll hit ls and you can see that the client is able to write to the tty also if i say exit and come back to the terminal you can see that the command exited because of the dash dash once option so that's all for this video i hope you learned something new in this one and don't forget to watch the other video on this mini video series where I showed some other tools that enabled us the exact same ability to access Linux shell over web interface so just keep in mind to make exposing this service as secure as possible by enabling TLS and maybe putting this service behind a web server like Nginx and enabling features like IP restrictions and things like that and also if you want to learn more about making use of nginx's features i've got a whole video series about that that you can find the link down in the description section so if you have any questions and any recommendations just go ahead and ask me in the comment section down below and also don't forget to watch other videos on my channel where you can learn about other cool technologies so that's all for this video and with that i hope to see you in the next video